Hi there folks, hello and welcome to this week's video update. Thought I'd talk about something a little bit different today. This is something that I'm just beginning to experiment with, you know, me being a bit of a technophobe. I like to well, I like to see what other people are doing first and then look at how I can improve on it. So today we're going to talk about Facebook marketing, business building, networking, friendships, all of those types of things. I've watched a number of people over well, let's say these last six months, and all these products that are coming out with Facebook now, they're you know, building massive contact lists and all of these types of things. And I've got to tell you, it's really easy to do. You set up your fan page and off you go, and then you can do all sorts of things almost like you can with a normal website. Fantastic, great way for connecting with lots and lots and lots of people. But really, it's not much different to what you're doing on your own website, is it? Or through any other you know, general business uh, circle that you might have when you're building lots and lots of, of lists. And yes, the list is key. There's no question about that. The list is absolutely key when it comes to the way that you're going to be building your business because without the list, you cannot possibly, you cannot possibly grow your business and in a sense, literally make money out of nothing. I might talk about that one a bit more next week. But let's get back to Facebook. And I'm going to suggest to you something here that perhaps you may not be doing if you're getting really carried away with building of these big lists and, you know, I've got to have the numbers, got to have the numbers. One thing I have found, and this hasn't changed in the last 10 years since I come online, people are impressed by numbers. We love numbers. Well, we love our own numbers. We get jealous of other people's numbers. Wouldn't you agree? Or we look at their numbers and we go, wow, how can I do that? Got to have the same. So it's a matter of keeping up with the Joneses, wanting to be as good as the person next door in the, the worldwide internet, as good as the person across the globe. We want to be able to do that. We'll buy the book. We'll figure out how. Yes, as I mentioned earlier, all that is good. But is it the most important, the most effective, and the best possible way for you to build and for you to network with your Facebook friends? I don't think so. Because that is not the actual key. Having that list is not the key, the golden key, if I can call it that. I mean, it's a key, one of key, but it's not the golden key to success on, the, on this, this internet business thing. What is found with success? It's not just having the list, it's having a relationship with the list. Now, I'm going to diverge just one moment and talk to you about a concept that you may have come across before. It's called the 80-20 rule. Perhaps on the internet, I think it's more like 90-10 or you know, 95-5, but it's breaking down, let's say, that group of 100. The 80-20 rule simply says that 20% of the people earn... 80% of the income, and the other 20% of remaining income is shared amongst 80% of the people. Now, there's a good chance when you're starting off, you are without doubt one of the 80% taking a small piece of that pie, that 20% just there, not much. But if you do things right, you can jump really quickly straight into the 20%. That takes 80%. Now, if you doubt what I'm saying just for one moment, have a look at whatever the, uh, the industry leaders in your industry are doing. Look at what they're earning. Look at, well, what they think. If they're not a public company, it's a bit hard to determine that. But based on what you think, you will probably find that, well, I'm going to use an example of, of an online forum where I'm constantly a member of and I like to post regularly to and drop in and see what's happening. You will find very simply this. You will find that really there's probably only a couple of dozen, maybe three, four, five dozen, 50, 60 people tops that are actually claiming and seem to be earning the big, big money. The rest of us, the rest of the people are just following. Yeah? Would you agree with me on that? That's an example of the 80-20 rule. But on, on, online, I believe it's more like 95 5%. 5% of the people are literally earning 95% of all the global cash that's created in your industry, in your niche market, whatever that may be. How do you get from where you are now to that 5%? Well, back to our Facebook Back to our marketing. You need to build relationships. 
How do you do that? Can you have a big list and have a personal relationship with each and every one of them? No, sorry, can't be done. What you need to do is start sifting through that list and you need to look for the golden half dozen. You need to look for the 5% who have the 95% of the contact. See, the 80-20 rule applied to business applies in all areas, not just in terms of income. It applies to sales, productivity. It applies to customer databases. It applies to contacts. It applies to everything. It's a generalization of how business works. And you need to work hard at moving from the 80% to the 20% or whatever the ratios may be for your industry. So here's what I do each week and what I'd like to suggest that you do as well. And I mean, this week was a classic example, which is what made me think about it. I have a couple of different lists, sub lists in my uh, Facebook marketing strategies and campaigns. And I've only, you know, my, my, my customers or sorry, my contacts are only in the hundreds. They're not in the thousands at this point of time. I've only just come back online. I'm not even trying. I'll get to it when I'm finished doing some other stuff. But for the moment, even those that I do come across, I send a personal message to each other, not an automated message, a personal message and hope that they will reply and if they do then I engage them in some kind of conversation to find out where they are are they one of the 80 percent or are they one of the 20 that I'm looking for now this past week I had contact with an old friend of mine well perhaps an old business partner might be a better way to put it we never did any joint ventures together we we never had any Uh, we never worked together but we always had constant communication over the years of course I've been away some time Uh, due to illness, coming back online now, though I'm looking to put all these things back together. Now, I'd contacted this person a couple of times, and of course, then with his birthday coming up just just recently, wished him happy birthday, said, by the way, my birthday's just a few days after yours. Fortunately, I'm also 10 years younger. Yeah, you can't really tell by the gray hair, can you? It's okay. But he responded to that and said, well, by the way, Paul, what are you doing now? What are you up to? What projects are you working on? This is the kind of thing that you need to find out with your Facebook marketing, building relationships. Now, I may or may not ever come back to this fellow and do a joint venture with him, but I can tell you now, he is not just one of the 20% earning 80% of the income. He's one of the 5%. He is someone who I'd like to build a further relationship with. Find out what he's doing, get involved, wish him luck, encourage him, offer suggestions, no matter how good he is already at what he does. I know I can interact with him and build a better relationship than what is in place already. This is the key. This is the golden key to Facebook marketing, any marketing really of any kind. And that is not just having a list, which is important, but having relationships with a list and you want to look for as I mentioned earlier about half a dozen and build a beautiful close relationship with these people it will take time but I guarantee you that those half dozen once you find who they are and once you build those relationships those half dozen will be responsible for 80% of your income and your business development and your business growth and your business sales through the joint ventures that you'll arrange with them over time So there's a new idea, a new strategy for you to look for the magic half dozen that you can influence them and they can influence you and work with them to develop a friendship at a business level. This is Paul Bars from paulbars.com signing off. I'll talk to you again next week. Bye-bye.